Our hearts and our prayers go out to the good people of Haiti as they suffer yet again more devastation, this time by the terrible earthquake. The Archdiocese of Miami has already begun efforts to assist the devastated areas. It especially saddens us to learn that Archbishop Joseph Mio the, of Port-au-Prince was one of the victims of the earthquake. Catholic Charities of Miami is accepting donations which will pert with which we will purchase the needed items and get them to the area as soon as possible. Aside from the loss of lives and homes, the people of Haiti will surely face serious consequences in the future. We stand in solidarity with the Haitian people of South Florida as they grieve over the loss of loved ones and countrymen. On this occasion, I strongly call upon President Obama to immediately grant temporary <coughs> protective status to all Haitians in our community. To attempt to repatriate them at this time would be to send them to a country in crisis and would certainly condemn them to a probable, if not certain, death. This would be grossly inhumane and immoral on the part of the United States. I urge the people of South Florida to make their voices heard in this effort for temporary protective status. Please contact the President, our two United States Senators and U.S. Representatives, and urge them to take action immediately for the sake of the welfare of the Haitian community in the United States as well as in Haiti. And I should remark this is at least the third or fourth time I am exhorting our congressional delegation to do something on behalf of the Haitian people. I urge the prayers of everyone on behalf of the earthquake victims and their dear families. Finally, I am announcing that a special collection will be taken up in all of the churches of the Archdiocese this weekend. I urge all Catholics to come prepared to make a generous contribution. Thank you all. <laughs>